What is your opinion on directed acyclic graph? Does it truly have the potential to replace open and decentralized blockchains, or is it vaporware? Um, I don't think the question is an either-or. I don't think directed acyclic graphs, uh, tangles, or other similar formulations uh, can replace proof-of-work, open, uh, decentralized blockchains. Um, and I think that's because proof of work brings some very, very specific and very valuable characteristics that simply cannot be achieved with other consensus algorithms, or at least no one's been able to demonstrate at scale achieving those with other algorithms. Immutability is, is a big issue there. The ability to change history without uh, anyone noticing or without the uh, recent entrance into the network being able to detect a false history from a true history. Um, but more broadly, I think that uh, proof of work with anonymous participants in an open decentralized network makes a cryptocurrency very resilient to coercion, very resilient to um, controlling regulations, and very resilient to censorship. And I think those are very, very important capabilities. The uh, technologies that I have seen that use direct, directed acyclic graphs are essentially a, a mixture of either proof of stake or proof of authority systems. Um, proof of stake, where um, the uh, control of the network is based on staking the currency, and we have yet to see proof of stake being demonstrated at a scale and under duress of authorities to the point where it can uh, prove to remain decentralized and censorship resistant. More importantly, I think proof of authority, uh, which is what you see in some blockchains, and from what I understand, uh, for example, IOTA, is where you have vetted nodes that are trusted, and that's not decentralized. That's a centralized system. And centralized systems are susceptible to coercion and censorship. So um, once again, there are many people who bring evidence of the new best thing since Bitcoin, the latest improvement since Bitcoin, uh, something better than proof of work. Uh, this isn't new. This is something that's been happening almost since the beginning of Bitcoin. As soon as people saw that this was valuable and uh, viable, um, copycats emerged, and various people tried to find other ways of doing the same thing. Now, that's not a bad thing. That's great. That's where innovation comes from. So far, nobody has been able to show uh, a system that can replace proof-of-work and still maintain the same immutability guarantees. Um, or a system that can replace decentralized open mining and proof of work and remain decentralized and not depend on centralized actors. And when you have a centralized system, it may look the same at first, um, but once you have uh, a lot of value and a lot of interesting applications running over that, there will be increased pressure, um, coercion, and censorship pressure by governments. And the real test is whether you can resist that. So um, I think direct acyclic graphs are interesting, but uh, I don't think they have the potential to replace open and decentralized blockchains. That doesn't mean they're vaporware, though. So it's not an either-or question. Um, they're simply an alternative consensus uh, mechanism, and they, if you don't have decentralized proof-of-work mining, you don't really need blocks. You can just chain transactions together, which is the basis of directed acyclic graphs. Um, but in my opinion, you've sacrificed something, and what you've sacrificed is decentralization. Mm -hmm.